The Queen of Mermania, Part 3. Once upon a time, in a magical world underwater, there lived a beautiful mermaid princess, Princess River. She was the beloved daughter of the king of the underwater creatures. River was a wise princess. She knew the dangers of the lands and never broke any rules of her own world. But fate had something else planned for Princess River. Bring me my staff. With an image of Queen Isabel in her mind, Sassy, the only mermaid who had managed to reach the magical waters of Saltundra, climbed up the wall. Guided by the mystical Sitor, she was about to find the magic rose which could save the ailing queen. As she reached the mouth of the well, she was speechless. What? Rose said I would find Sator here. Mermania of the Queen is ill. I need the magic rose. Ah! Sassy was afraid to pull her hands off her face, but she mustered her courage to find that the hooded figure just standing there, he walked towards the other side of the well. Follow me. I will take you to the magic rose. Um, sure, sure. You walking out like that and I dragging my fin would be so beautiful to look at. Take the leap of faith. I don't believe this. I climbed all the way here and now I have to drag myself to the palace with this strange human. I should have never listened to this Lador. Stasi put her fin on the ground and was ready to fall flat on her face. But... What? I have legs! Sassy could not believe what was happening. She had so many questions. But she also needed the magic rose. She followed the strange human inside the castle. Sassy looked around the castle. It was the most magical thing she had ever seen. She saw waterfalls inside and flowers and ferns. She was mesmerized. The man opened the large door to a beautiful room. And there it was. Shielded by magic, the magic rose. The man picked up the rose, put it in a bag, and handed it over to Sassy. You need to take this to Isabella. Yes, of course. Wait a minute. I never told you her name. How do you know Queen Isabella? The man showed his face to Sassy. Because I am her father. <gasps> Queen Isabella is your daughter. That means you are my king? Oh. I am not the king and I never intended to be. All I wanted was to live with my love. King Greedo's daughter, the princess. So, the story is true? Were you and the princess really in love? And Queen Isabella, your daughter, is she really cursed? This was 300 years back, when I met the most beautiful gem on earth, Princess River. Ha, <laughs> ha,
<laughs> Princess! Mirage is at it again! <sighs> Princess River was not only King Crudo's daughter, but she was also the general of the Mermanian army. Along with her closest aide, Cassandra, she was always aiming to protect her world and that of the humans. She is pretending to drown? Sirens are getting smarter. Cassandra! Yes, Mirage was a siren, a creature who enticed humans and bound their souls. Don't jump! Don't jump! Don't jump! Great. Princess River acted quickly and swam towards Mirage and the human. But before she could reach him... Give me your soul. No! <laughs> he is gone, River. Bring me my staff. River, you cannot use the magic of the staff on a human. It has never been done before. We don't know what would happen. I have to help him. Ah, who are you? <gasps> I can speak, speak underwater. underwater. Wow, hi. I'm Aiden, and thanks for saving my life. And he is also floating. Princess River was too shocked to speak. The magic of her staff had never been tested on humans. It was forbidden in Mermania to put humans through any kind of harm. You are a mermaid! A mermaid! And that was just the beginning of the story. Aiden soon realized that he could brew up some magic on the lands, too. Huh? <gasps> soon enough, Aiden fell hopelessly in love with River. <laughs> Months passed, and unknowingly, Princess River, too, fell in love. But Aiden's stepfather was not happy. As soon as he heard of his granddaughter Isabella, He stole the magic staff. <laughs> Locked Aiden in a dungeon. And cursed Isabella. <sighs> I somehow managed to break out of the dungeon, but it was too late. My princess and my daughter were both gone. I looked for them everywhere, but I couldn't find them. <gasps> Over the period, I realized that my powers underwater were getting weaker. Why is that? It must be the staff. I couldn't find it anywhere. I was powerful when the staff was around. Now, although I have powers on the land, my magic is not strong enough under the water. I used my magic to create this place. Under the earth and on the ocean, this place is only accessible for the Mer people. I knew the waters would guide someone here for the magic rose. Your story is so painful, your majesty. But once I take the magic rose back to Isabella, she can come here and you can bring her on the land. No, she is the queen of Mermania. Her kingdom needs her. You must go. Take the rose to Squatch. She would know what to do. And do not tell anybody about me. Not even Isabella. But... Just trust me on this. I will meet my daughter if my fate allows me. But the time hasn't come yet. With a heavy heart, Sassy left Aiden to swim back to Mermania. 
she waved goodbye to Sitar and swam as fast as she could. Finally, she reached her home and handed over the bag to Squatch. <gasps> Squatch extracted the juice out of the magic rose and gave a few drops to Queen Isabella. In no time, Queen Isabella recovered. Yay! 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 <laughs> Tell me, dear, which royal jewel would you like to have? Well, naturally, the rare orange pearl. Ooh! <laughs> That's a joke, Cece. Phew. I don't want any royal jewel squatch. Our queen is back. That's all I'm happy for. It was true. Sassy was happy about having her queen back. But Squatch would not listen. She wanted Sassy to have something. <gasps> this is so beautiful, Squatch. Thank you for saving Mermania. Mermania rejoiced with their queen. For, after years, finally the grim wave was now past them.